Now that you have picked out the order of your, of your main points, it's time to think about how you're going to move smoothly from point to point. You as the speaker have the responsibility of connecting all of your ideas for your audience, and you want to do so in a way that makes sense and that sounds uh, smooth and fluid. You're going to do this by using transition statements. In the speech world, we call these signposts, and they work just like a stop sign does, uh, or just like a yield sign does, or just like a street sign does. Uh, when you're driving, a street sign is going to tell you which road you're turning on to. In the speech world, a, a signpost is going to tell your audience where we're going next. Okay, So you can use transitional phrases and words. Um, those are great choices. First, we will discuss this. Second, we will discuss this. Lastly, we will discuss this. Okay. In conclusion, that's another great phrase. Um, if you want to get a little bit more crafty and a little more creative, you can use what we call internal summaries and preview points. Internal summaries sound just like they, they are just like they sound. They're a summary of what I just said, the key idea that you should have taken away from that main point. And then, of course, preview statements are just like they sound. They are previewing where we're going next. If you put these two together and you use them between your main points, you're really reinforcing for your audience what they should, what they should take away from your presentation and how your ideas connect. So you might say, now that we have talked about how studying communication will enhance your professional life, let's next discuss how it's going to enhance your personal life. Did you see that? We summarized what we just talked about and now I'm previewing for you where we're going next. Using these transition statements can create a lot of smooth flow in your presentation. They're also going to help decrease your anxiety because you've planned beforehand how you're going to get from main point number one to main point number two. So I encourage you to use a variety of different uh, transitional phrases or words or challenge yourself and really use the internal summaries and preview points. You can also transition non-verbally. Uh, you can move to the other side of the room or the other side of the PowerPoint when you're transitioning to a main point. That visual transition will not only capture the audience's attention and wake them up a little bit, but it's also going to signal to them non-verbally that we're kind of changing our ideas, we're moving on to something different. So you can do that as well. All of these together are great ways to create a lot of smooth flow to your presentation. So to recap, we've talked about four strategies that you can use to organize your main points. And then lastly, we've talked about how we will connect these ideas smoothly for your audience. Thanks so much and have a great day.